So if you're manually editing and creating your captions in Premiere Pro, you are wasting so much time. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I automated my entire Premiere Pro captions process and how I stylize it in just seconds without wasting a bunch of time. So without further ado, my name is Torsten Orozco. Let's get right into this video. So obviously we don't wanna come over here, listen to what I say and then hit text and then type it out. Like no one has time for that. That's so freaking stupid. I don't know how you guys are living off this. If you were doing that, you're living under a rock. I'm sorry to tell you that. <laughs> but the way I do this is I come into text. If you don't have the text up here, hit windows, grab the text panel, and boom, it'll pop up. Now here's the secret sauce. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm so fucking corny. Come up to transcript, and there should be a big blue button. You wanna click on that, it's gonna tell you to transcribe the sequence. It's gonna take a little bit, just like two, three seconds, depending on how fast your computer is. And boom, it generated exactly my entire transcript of what I'm saying in this video. Now here is the best part, or let's let Premiere Pro create the captions for us. So hit the captions and right here, this is the holy uh, mother of Lord of God. Hit create captions, boom. You wanna make sure these are all to the left and hit single because we don't want stacked double lines, looks really bad on our Instagram reels. Hit create captions. Now, boom, you can see on the bottom, it already has, let me mute this really quick, it already has our captions done for us, so no need to manually do this. Now, majority of people will do this. You have to come in here, these default caption looks terrible, they'll click on the zone, come down here, and maybe blow up the font size a little bit, and then this looks, looks kind of absolutely garbage, and then they just leave it like that. Well, not to worry, I've got you with some secret sauce, so here is the secret sauce that most people don't do. I've created these track test styles so you don't have to come in here, figure out what fonts you want, scroll through all these masses amount of fonts that are just so overwhelming for every single creator and mess with the font side obviously and like come in here and mess with, we don't wanna do all that. All you have to do is come over here, hit this little tog button and boom, I'm gonna hit open project and here are all the textiles that I've created so we don't have to waste any of that time. Now, all I like to do is just click through here. Let's say I don't want that one or that one. Ooh, I actually really like this one. I love this font. So now that I have this font, you can either adjust it or leave it as, as like so. I'm actually just gonna pick this one because I really like this one. I do use this one a lot. And boom, it's basically all done. And if you want these to pop a little more, obviously you can come in here. And the reason why I like to do it like this is upgrade these all the captions. So if you highlight these and hit these upgrade caption to transcript or up upgrade them to graphics, sorry, I'm talking a little too fast. And if you highlight all these, you can come over to the effects. I like to use my own drop shadow and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. I come into my captions FX presets and I grab the drop shadow and boom, I like to double it most of the time and boom, now our captions look so, so, so much better. And if you're wondering where can you get those textiles, where you can get this, well, they're all in that caption SFX pack I just mentioned earlier and even spice this up a little more. I'm gonna see if these appear downs look good. These animations are meant for one second clips so they might not look good, but let's just look at it to see if it's good. I mean, that's pretty cool. I see actually a ton of highly Creator creatives that do that. See, that's what it looks like. This is exactly what it's supposed to look like when you have a longer clip and it looks like that. And let's just say I didn't want that one. I can maybe just do, uh, fuck it, appear right. Make it appear right. And now it appears, ooh, these actually look really good. I would actually mind use that. That's pretty sick. <laughs> but those are my automated system that I use each and every single time to help me create my captions so quickly and effortlessly. And if you guys wanna learn more about video editing from me, go click this video right over here. Catch you in the next one. Peace.